Hey there, welcome to the next installment of Melnick's Kitchen. I'm going to be making hot sauce again, this time a special recipe that I came up with. So check out all the supplies I have. Okay, there are the peppers that I'm going to be using this time. Uh, I got two special ingredients. Mustard seeds. And dill. I'm going to make something called Jew making hot sauce. So I got some Jewish style with the dill and the mustard. And I got the Scotch bonnet peppers. I got my grinder for the mustard seeds. Got some nice vine tomatoes. I uh, got some new bottles with some red caps. Uh, I got my food processor and I got my juicer handy so I could juice the dill. And I'm going to be sterilizing the bottles right over here. I got to figure out this stupid autofocus because it's making me mad. And uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to be cooking soon. Okay, I'm back. And uh, I prepared the peppers. And uh, I got two kinds of onion. Regular white onion and red onion and garlic. And then the vine tomatoes. I cut them up. Make sure that if you're going to do this that you wear latex gloves so that you don't mess up your hands with the hot peppers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this stuff and I'm going to heat it up for probably about 10 or 15 minutes and make it nice and soft, maybe a little bit caramelized. Then I'm going to throw it into the food processor, going to put in some vinegar, make it real smooth and strain it and then pour it into bottles. So I need, still need to sterilize my bottles, I still need to juice the dill, I still need to grind the mustard seeds. So I'll be right back and hopefully that'll all be done. All right, so I'm back again. I'm uh, cooking up the onions and uh, garlic, caramelizing them. I just did the tomatoes. And uh, they're in the food processor right now. So I cooked them up a little bit and I put them in there just to soften them up. Then I'm gonna do the peppers. I just ground the mustard seed and I juiced the dill. So, I'm almost ready. Be back in a little while. All right, so the peppers are in and cooking. I'm protected, obviously. There they are. And uh, sterilizing the bottles. I got the onions in the food processor. And uh, I'm ready. All right, be back in a little while. All right. So I got the fan going. I was cooking the peppers and uh, it got really hot. <coughs> and I mean smoky and poisonous in here. Windows are open, fan is on. What I did was I took the juicer and I took all the cooked up food processed peppers and onions and everything and I put them through the juicer all while wearing gloves of course and that's the hot sauce right there so hopefully it'll taste good I'm just waiting for the bottles to finish sterilizing then I'm gonna bottle it up and hopefully sample some and then freeze some so uh, looks like it came out pretty cool I just hope it tastes good probably hot as hell I just looked at Madeline and she Looked at me like I was some alien. Let's see. Let's see what Madeline's doing in her room. Daddy, yeah. Uh, I want you to log me into Penguin Penguin. Okay, I'll log you into Club Penguin. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll be back a little bit later, probably with sample. I saved a little bit to have as a salsa, and that's the salsa, and then the mustard, and then the dill, dill juice. Anyway, seems like a good experiment. And uh, hopefully it came out good. I guess it's done right here, just about. Yeah. Got some uh, Jew-making hot sauce going on right there. Yeah. So see you guys later. All right. Say goodbye. All right, I'm back. So out of all those peppers and all those ingredients, I only got three and a half bottles. 
Uh, I got them turned upside down to sterilize the caps. Uh, it kind of smells a little bit mustardy, obviously, because I used mustard seed. Uh, I might have used a little bit too much mustard seed. I only used two spoonfuls, but that's probably a lot considering I only got that much liquid. So it'll probably be a very, very hot mustard hot sauce. Uh, I'm going to try probably a little more dill next time and a little bit less mustard. But anyway, I'm done. That was interesting. Hopefully it'll taste good. The taste test will be coming soon. Bye.